so she was the but he was all what the f What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to JBuck Studios, your home for reviews, reactions, and ridiculousness. Anyways, though, we're jumping over to VOD, something I'm not usually doing, but I was able to check out this new kind of supernatural, weird horror film, and it's called Amulet. Terror strikes when a former soldier takes a job to help a young woman and her housebound mother. So is Amulet a crazy movie that is going to require a lot of discussion after the fact? Let's find out. But before I get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of Amulet. If you've already seen this movie, I think at Sundance earlier this year, or very much looking forward to it. Now let's get into some of the good. So yes, we're not getting into any spoilers in this one because it is weird. Believe me, it steers into some weird things. But the technical aspects of this film elevate that horror, that weirdness, the everything that I'm not going to touch on or, or spoil. But the way that the score plays into this movie. This isn't your traditional jump scare horror film. This is kind of a slow burn, almost a mystery, almost thriller-esque because little tiny pieces of the puzzle fall into place from, you know, present time to flashbacks and you get the you get the picture at the end of it but the way that the score uses like bells and eerie chanting or humming or harmony and also string instruments it makes it very eerie like i said very uneasy it's an unsettling tone or vibe that is set throughout this movie so that is adding to that weird almost, I wouldn't say elevated, but almost a little bit elevated horror in this film. And the way that the lighting, and I'm sure director of photography had all of this set up, is like I said, it's present day, it's outside, it's going back and forth through flashbacks, and they're able to show everything perfectly with kind of the tones and the coloring and the lighting like there's very bright greens and dreariness from flashbacks because it's like in a forest. Then there's very dark it's almost obstructing your view, but also elevating that horror vibe in this movie because you're like, I can't see anything, but I want to know what's behind that person. So the way that they lit everything in the house and outside was fantastic. And really getting into the core and the main plus of this movie is the way everything is structured and really plays out. Again, it's almost two different storylines of flashbacks and present day that play out. But the director, Agar Garari, I believe, I... I Sorry if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. But they do such a great job of really balancing both and giving you enough breadcrumbs to keep you going throughout this movie, to keep you guessing, to keep you on your toes of, is this what I think it is? Is this something else? Is this a, a traditional horror film? And believe me, I am no spoilers, but this is, you will not understand or even guess what this movie leads up to. And that is what's fascinating is everything is curated so perfectly almost that it plays out where you have a question you get the answer or you get a little hint there and you have to remember something so it's played out so well but then the main two leads of Thomas and Magda they do a phenomenal job again balancing their each own storyline and combining together to have great chemistry or almost eerie chemistry to lead you on this unsettling path. However, this did have a bit of a ding for myself, even though I mentioned that the director of photography, the cinematography, they do a great job of really clearly showing you what is present day, what is past. It does get a bit confusing because literally it'll be about five seconds present time, five seconds flashback, five seconds. It jumps back quite a bit because the stories come to a climax at sort of the same time but it is a bit confusing if you aren't entirely paying attention. So that's my disclaimer here. It does jump back and forth between these two different time periods, between these storylines essentially, quite a bit. So it might come off as a little confusing, even though they do great visual cues, unlike, you know, people were complaining about Little Women earlier last year. This you should be able to know what time period you're in. Overall, Amulet is a movie I went into expecting one thing, got something I completely didn't ask for, but man, it was wild. With it featuring this eerie score and lighting and the way they balance such storylines with care, but maybe with some of it being a bit confusing, I would recommend checking out Amulet. Again, I am not a big fan of horror films at all, but this 
had such a weird, eerie intrigue into this movie that I just could not look away. In closing, I'm going to give Amulet 3.8 out of 5 creepy and weird scares. So what did you guys think of Amulet? If you've already checked this one out or now, very much looking forward to it. I want to know in the comments down below. Anyways, though, as always, thank you so much for watching. Watch some more videos up there or right over there. You know, brand new content every single week here on the JBox Studios channel. Stay tuned for an ending explained poorly for this video because it deserves that. Stay tuned for that. Follow all of my social media. Like this video. Subscribe to the JBox Studios channel. And until next time, we'll see you later.